Welcome to my Pro Tools training course. My name is Dave Zimmerman, and I'm excited to be able to launch you into the world of Pro Tools. I have taught over 100 people privately in Pro Tools, which has helped me see where people generally get stuck. I have put lots of thought into this training course to make it the fastest, yet thorough basics training course, which will get you up and running. Although you may want to skip around, realize that this course is designed to build upon the principles you learn in each video. We will first walk through the important steps to get your Pro Tools system up and running effectively and getting set up so that you can best avoid the pitfalls of missing audio files, CPU overloads, and other errors. We will cover everything from setting up your session to creating and recording audio and instrument tracks to thoroughly understanding the main toolbars, audio and MIDI editing, properly setting up submixes and effects, as well as some basic automation and, of course, exporting your session to its final audio file. Although I am on a Mac, I have included Windows users by including the Windows hotkeys alongside the Mac ones. The first video, Optimizing Your System for Pro Tools, is the only video of the series that is specific to a Mac operating system. However, if you are on Windows, you should still watch this video to get links and information as to how you can tweak your Windows machine to get optimum results. This course begins assuming that you have installed the latest drivers for the audio interface that you are using with Pro Tools. You can find the latest drivers by going to the website of the hardware that you own. For example, if you own the Focusrite Scarlett, you would want to go to the Focusrite website and find the latest driver for your interface there. You also should have installed the latest Pro Tools update from your Avid account that is compatible with your computer. You can find Avid's compatibility charts here. Along with installing the latest update, you should have also downloaded and installed the Air Creative Collection for your system, which should have been found in the same area of available downloads as the latest Pro Tools updates. If you do not install this package, none of the included instruments in Pro Tools will be available for use. You may also want to download all of the included audio loops in the same download section labeled Big Fish if you would like to have access to some free audio loops. Finally, you should also have an iLock connected to your system that has your Pro Tools license on it. Thanks again for watching. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I will also have these videos available to purchase for download at a great price if you would prefer watching them without commercials and always have easy access to them on your computer. If you feel that these videos give you a great head start into Pro Tools, I hope you might consider my intermediate videos that will be for sale soon. Also, check out my over 40 Pro Tools Quick Tips videos for other cool tricks and tips. Let's begin.